Uh, my name is Damien Castillo, and I'm the CAD and Administration Manager for Hensley Industries. We're a subsidiary of Komatsu Corporation, and we're based out of Dallas, Texas. Uh, we did hire some new engineers recently, uh, coming from various CAD packages. Uh, I, I won't mind telling you, uh, one of them uh, was from Inventor, some others from SolidWorks. Um, when I was training, training them on Creo 1.0, it was the first opportunity that I had to train someone new with the new software. So it made the training a lot easier for me because everything was so much more organized within the software. But also the feedback that I got was that it was a lot easier to use than the packages they were using prior to learning Creo. So I got very, very positive feedback from the new engineers. I'm currently testing Creo 2.0. There's going to be no training transition between 1 and 2, other than just updating the users on some of the new functionality uh, in Creo 2.0, uh, such as the new sectioning, uh, dynamic sectioning in, in 2.0 is far superior to anything in Creo 1.0. So very quickly, I saw a lot of advantages moving from Creo 1.0 to 2.0, or I should say a lot of added content, a lot of improvements beyond any other release jump. Between Wildfire 3 and 4 and 4 and 5, uh, there were some enhancements, but just between 1 and 2 on Creo, uh, I saw some major, major improvements that we're excited to start using.